Hello and welcome to another episode of Crank Your Damn Just to Eleven. Um, what I want to do is give you my take on the No Co Genius G three thousand five hundred, which unfortunately you cannot buy anymore uh, unless you go on eBay or somewhere like that. I did do a quick search on Amazon. This is not where I bought it. I don't remember where I bought it. Uh, but um, you can. I don't think it's available on Amazon anymore because the company has released new models. So I don't remember where I bought this device. Uh, it's a it's a charger. It's made for charging car batteries, basically. Um, and I don't remember where I I got it. I thought that was on Amazon, but apparently uh, I didn't get it there because uh, it's not a, available. I mean, I've looked in my history and it's not there, so... Um, yeah, and I use it mostly, most of the time, to um, keep the battery of the UTV topped up. Um, if you want to see my UTV, uh, you should uh, look at the video on the Cansporter. You can see my UTV there. Um, and in winter, we don't use the UTV as much as summer. And uh, I found that it's uh, necessary, or it is advantageous, I should say, uh, to keep the battery on the, on a charger during winter, because if we don't produce as much stress as, as usual, we might use the the UTV once a month, um, and once a month is not enough for a battery to be kept charged so you know if you keep a if you keep a, a car battery in a car or in a utv or in anything that that needs the battery and you don't use that vehicle um then the battery is not recharged and slowly slowly it discharges and you can have a surprise the next time you want to use your vehicle where the battery is completely discharged and it's not starting anymore. And the, the 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 reason is that you didn't use the vehicle and the battery just went dead. And sometimes you can revive the battery, but in some cases you cannot revive it or it damages the battery uh, life. So I decided a while ago that I should I should just have a charger for, to charge batteries in general, car batteries in general. But I then decided that in winter I should be um, very aware that the battery needs to be put on a charger. So I, I have installed a, a quick connect and disconnect on the UTV so that I can just... Uh, I don't have the whole setup here, but you know this is the, the end that connects into the Noco Genius and you just... You just then plug it into the, the other end and I don't have to do anything to the battery. I don't have to take the seat off or anything like that. And it's it's really great. Um, so unfortunately, you cannot buy this model anymore. Um, but if I were to buy another charger, and I may well do that eventually, uh, I would go with this brand Noco. Um, I'm entirely satisfied with this charger. Um, well, actually, I should say it's a little bit wonky when you want to know the percentage uh, of the battery that you have. I have another charger, um, and maybe it's going to show up on this channel at some point, which is better if, if what you want to see is the percentage of charge of the battery. The other charger is better than, than this one. But that's really the only thing I have against uh, the NOCO. And, and it takes also a little time to get the, the percentage reading. And the way they did it, it's like you have it here. And, you know, you have the, the numbers are printed on, on the case. So uh, whereas my other charger has uh, LEDs that change over time when the charge goes up or goes down. Um but that's really the only thing, and it's not a major thing. It's just a little bit annoying, but, you know, it does the job. It keeps the UTV charged, and it has uh, it has multiple modes. Well, there's the mode button that you can press 
to change the modes and uh, uh, there's a a mode I think they call it yeah repair it's really a desulfation mode where it's going to discharge and recharge the battery until it decides that the ba your battery is either dead or fine um, so yeah if I were to get another charger I would go with the same uh, brand uh, I'm satisfied with this one and um, normally I would say well you can go look at reviews of this model the G3500 but actually I don't think there's much of a point because it's not something that you can really easily buy anymore and I don't I am probably you shouldn't buy it you know you should buy the newer models that NOCO offers uh, I cannot say anything, maybe NoCo has gone down, but so far I've been happy with it, so. So with this, I'll say goodbye.